Alright, hello anyone that's watching this. Um, I thought I'd just quickly show you um, an issue I had with the Welch Allen Panoptic Ophthalmoscope and how I fixed it. I could not find a single schematic or picture or any information online or from Welch Allen. Um, so first, along with the disassembly, this has taken me in over a long time of fiddling around. So this little um, thing screwed off from here, um, from the bottom. Um, so you have to use some pliers or something that can fit in these little holes to get it off. And um, these, the rubber stoppers on the ends just pop off and there were these little split rings that you have to um, uh, prise off the ends there. Okay, when you get it open, it just pops open but like that. Do do it on the flat and the, um, the side that comes off is the side um, facing to the right if you were holding it as though you were using it. Um, sorry, that's facing to the left. Um, inside you see this um, mechanism, so down here this is the, the torch, the light bounces up here off this mirror and goes out through there to the patient's eye. Um, and in here, this is the only moving, is the moving mechanism. Um, the first time this one was opened, it all fell out and fell on the floor, and it was, it took a long process to figure exactly how it fits back together. Um, so I'll show you how that works in just a moment. When you pull it out, it tends to fall apart. Is that uh, so? Just take careful note of how it's positioned. Now the issue with this was that this little lens here had fallen out. Um, it's not, it was just held in place just by being tight um, and it came loose and fell apart. Welch Allen said oh, it was going to cost $300 to service it um, and we opted to just buy a new one. Um, then this sat on the shelf for a year and I've decided to disassemble it. So all you had to do is sit that lens back in that position, get a little bit of super glue and a toothpick, um, and just dab a couple of dots of super glue and just um, dot in there to hold it back together. So only a little bit, making sure you don't get on any on the lens. Um, that's really important. Also make sure the lenses are cleaned um, with a lens cleaner before you do that. Um, once that's back in place, um, this is the assembly. I guess I'll pull it apart just so you can see all the pieces. Um, sorry about my camera work. I'm not. I don't normally make videos, um, and I'm just doing with this my, with my cell phone. So this is the housing. Um, this is the movable lens that focuses. So there's the lens at that end, and then hole, and this groove. You see that groove there, um, is where these little arms hold in. So that goes in there, facing this way. Um, then the, the control wheel goes right there, and you put the axle through it. Um, and now the difficult part are these two little arms. Um, so they have a little L, which you won't be able to see on the video, and a little R there to tell you left and right. And on here there's a little L for left and on the opposite side there's a right. So obviously L goes on the L side. So the little little dot, the little poking, oh sorry about the focus, um, the little thing p pointing out um, goes on the top side, um, uh, in this, sorry, the little point goes in this hole here and pivots there. The longer, longer poking out bit goes in the groove there and then the knob on the opposite end sits in that groove right there. Right, so I'll put this one on and it Apologies. Sorry. So, as I said, this is my this is my first time making a video for you, and I'm only doing it um, to hopefully save you a lot of money and.
prevent a needless landfill. Which means I'm not even going to bother trying to learn how to Photoshop it back together. Uh, or video edit it. So that's how that one sits in. The opposite side is the same. I'll see if I can... Well, I won't be able to prop that up. Apologies again, I'll just leave you down there. And you have to make sure you hold it quite tightly. And so now you'll see if I roll, roll that backwards and forwards, it moves the, the top lens in and out. Now, um, holding it very carefully, the axle going in that little central part and keeping the white line about approximately straight forward, you set this in back into place again. Apologise for the video. I figure there's probably only going to be two or three people in the world who ever watch this anyway, so if you're watching it, leave me a, give me a comment of, on, to say thanks, and um, could give me, uh, and let me know why you, what happened to your one, and give any advice to anyone else that um, found, uh, might find themselves in the same issue. So now this is all sitting back in position. Um, the top side goes back on and um, we'll reassemble it. Um, I'm sure you, you've figured out how to disassemble it by this point, so, um, so there shouldn't be anything new for you there. Once the bottom ring is on tightly, um, you can now use it like normal. Um, I doubt you'll be able to see through there, no. But um, it's all working completely fine now. Um, so I wish you the best of luck and um, yeah, all the best. Cheers.